Sorry, this one's still going. Well, we're good. Yeah. Hey guys, Guy Eastman here in Powell, Wyoming, and uh, in the morning we're going to be heading down to Salt Lake City, Utah, for the Hunt Expo. So we're really excited about that. We're going to have the deer tour in the Sportsman's Warehouse booth. This will be the only stop the deer tour, I believe, makes in Utah this year, yeah, at least nice. this winter. Yeah, and on the show circuit anyway. Yep, yep. So make sure you come check it out. Dan Picard and I are going to be lecturing. Uh, Sports Warehouse has a big booth inside the show, which will have the deer tour and a lot of other Sports and Warehouse uh, items you can buy. And also they have a lecture area that's inside the show, but not in the booth directly. Yep, should be a good time. We're, good. we're expecting big crowds and we're going to have some giveaway items for the first few hundred people that come to the lectures on Friday and Saturday. I think they're at 1230 uh, both days, if yep. I remember correctly. And uh, Guy and Dan are going to be lecturing on elk and, and uh, mule deer hunting tactics. I can let him elaborate on that a little bit more. But um, yeah, we're going to have some swag bags for everybody that, or almost everybody that shows up the first few hundred people and it should be a good time. Yep, should be good. We're going to be, Dan's going to be lecturing on bow hunting uh, out west. I'll be doing the rifle portion. So we're going to kind of tag team it back and forth. He's going to do bow. I'm going to do rifle. We're going to talk about draw strategies and tips and tactics and gear for hunting out west. So it's going to be a uh, go real quick. It's only an hour long, but it'll go fast. Yeah, it sounds like a long time to talk for an hour, but when you're talking hunting, it goes pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. <goes> and Q&A <laughs> session afterwards, hopefully. Yep. Hopefully we're going to leave a little time for a Q&A session. So any of you who can't make it to the show, you can submit your questions online and Scott will hopefully shuffle a couple of those questions, make sure they're not too easy. Some hard questions for us to answer up there on stage. This is Dan's first time lecturing, so we got to make him sweat and uh, get, haze him a little bit. Yeah, that's right. His first opportunity to lecture hunting in front of a big group, so yep. it should be good. So it should be snowy and cold out, so make sure you come on over to the uh, expo and see what's going on, not just the Eastman stuff, but uh, Sportsman's Warehouse booth got a lot of great specials and deals. I'm sure they have a bunch. I haven't seen what they have going on, but uh, Deer Dan, I talked to him. The guy who runs a deer tour, he's already there, and he said it's uh, it's going to be pretty spectacular. Yep. So the deer tour, like we mentioned, is going to be there, and this is the twenty what sixth or seventh year the deer tour is going. It's just under thirty years. Yeah. You know, long time ago, Roger Selner started years ago. Started and, as elk, and then it yep. transitioned into deer. Morphed so. into deer, and then Roger kind of named his successor. Somebody that he trusted with uh, uh, corralling all these all these uh, deer into place each and every year. You know, there are twelve new deer every single year, and they range from you know bucks that are found in old barns and all the way up to present day animals that are harvested. And you know, maybe talk a little bit about that and and how special these animals are. I mean, these aren't your run of the mill, you know. 150 to 180 size deer. I mean, these are bucks of a lifetime. These are all top tier grade A blue ribbon giants. Yeah. Uh, we challenged Deer Dan to make it bigger and better than ever, and he did. I think the smallest deer on there is 212 or 214, and that's a typical. And the yeah. biggest one is just under 300, 292 or something like that. So, you know, the owl average over 250, which was kind of the challenge I laid out to him. I said, let's see if we can manage a, a year we have 12 bucks at average over 250 and these bucks do there's a lot of big bucks i just talked to him this morning he was getting set up in salt lake and he told me that for the first year he's been running it anyway he always asked guys which are his favorite deer and he said this year there's no decisive winner all 12 bucks are getting votes and so it's a real even mix and there's a i have not seen the deer in person yet and i can't wait to go down and see myself yeah that's saying something if there isn't a clear winner because usually every year there's one buck that clearly stands out whether it's a really widespread buck or a really freak non-typical or a cactus buck or something but if they're pretty evenly opinionated and spread i mean that's a good sign that there's there's some good deer and there i mean these when roger started this years ago it's to for those of us that usually don't shoot bucks like this because these are truly bucks of a lifetime once in a lifetime well once in probably a hundred lifetimes that we can go stand there and drool a little bit and dream and and see what you know bucks that are still growing out of the mountainside that they're still there you know we just got to work hard to find them yep and most of them have never been seen in public before i mean a lot of them he dredges them out of collections and people's homes and they go tour for a year and then they go back into those collections and homes to be enjoyed by the uh, owners and hunters, never to be seen again in public. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to come down and check out those those 12 new bucks and 
and see which one you like the best. My favorite is a 242 buck that's out of uh, Idaho, the Hughes buck. And it's one of the smaller bucks on the tour, but I'll tell you what, it's got the wow factor. It's got everything. And I, I've only seen the pictures. I can't wait to see it in person. Yeah. And besides coming by to, to see the deer, uh, you, owe, you owe it to yourself to come by and chat with deer Dan. We call him, his name is Dan Woodbridge. We call him deer Dan for a reason. Cause that is his life. This guy knows antlers forward, backward, upside down. Well, we've done a test before and we will text a random deer picture from a restaurant to him. He'll know the name of the buck, the year it was shot, what it scored. I mean, he's like an encyclopedia of knowledge. He loves talking to people about antlers and mule deer. So it, it's, a, it's a treat to actually talk to him about those things. You should stop by. He honestly, Deer Dan, has a photographic memory for horns. He does. And it's bring him, I dare anybody it. or challenge anybody to bring him a photo <laughs> of a big deer on your phone, and he will tell you, you know, historic deer, not one that was killed last year or anything, and he'll, he'll yeah. know exactly the buck um, yeah. nine times out of ten. My favorite story is the lady brought – a photo in on her phone of her as a little girl 50 years ago as a little girl with her dad, a huge buck in Utah. And they had, the buck had gotten sold or, or traded way back when, and she'd never seen the buck again, was wondering if he had seen it. And within 15 minutes, Dan had found that buck in a collection yep. in Wyoming and uh, knew exactly where it was and the name of it. He, he is absolutely a machine. He can't yes. use a computer or email, but <laughs> he can find big bucks and he can memorize big bucks. So he is. It's it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. So he, he's he's got the name Deer Dan for a reason. Yeah. If Jeopardy had a deer category, <laughs> Deer Dan would be the, the winner and the king of that. Yeah, sure. we thought Roger was the best we'd ever seen, and Roger's got a contender uh, for his title with the Deer Dan. That's yep. for sure. Yeah. So make sure you come down and see us at Salt Lake this weekend. We'll see you there. Yep, and we'll uh, our staff will be in the booth with the deer tour about midday every day. Uh, there to talk application strategies. If you want to talk about that, gear reviews, um, any questions. You know, we get to test pretty much everything under the sun. So stop by. We want to talk to you and and uh, talk on. So it's all about. Since we know YouTube has a significant more lag.